feel like if ghosts exist, they're definitely in a place like this. Mm -hmm. What's up guys? All right, it is raining. We are in Philadelphia. We're kind of just nasty outside. We figured we would do something a little bit spooky and a little bit different today. So we're gonna go explore one of the most haunted attractions in the United States. And that is of course the Eastern State Penitentiary. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be spooky. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. So with all that said, let's hop inside. Take a look around. Maybe we'll find a ghost or two. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe. Yeah? <laughs> we'll but here we go. Behind us. This is it. This looks like something out of like the Dark Ages or something. Look at that. It looks like a castle. Yeah, it's like a fortress. Hi! You can go straight down to the end of this house. Is that where you can Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. This is already pretty eerie. Well, we're inside. Because the whole idea was to make you really think about the things you've done. They didn't really have life sentences or any of that back in the day. So, but you know, if you were stuck here in isolation for a long period of time, you know, maybe you would have learned from your mistakes and then you would get out and then have a successful life. But we all know that to be not true. It's pretty crazy. Unfortunately, the idea failed, but this is the way that it looks. You have this center here, this big guard tower that overlooks these, uh, these long blocks here and uh, it's pretty crazy, pretty crazy. But this is basically, yeah, this is kind of how it would look. So you'd spend all of your time here in solitude and hopefully you'd be experienced, huh? Yeah, you'd basically be with the idea that you would experience regret for whatever you did. Now supposedly, I guess at nighttime especially, they would like, you know, these different cell blocks, they have like, you know, you could see like, ghosts or hear voices and stuff like that. It's dark in there. You can't really see it. So we got any spooky yeah, ghosts? Look at the light. Yeah, shine in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that shot. Like they had two beds in here. That's it. Spooky ghosts, talk to me. <laughs> Thirty feet high. It's yeah. a true castle. Look at that's where the guards were up in there. Some of them, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm walking through like a medieval castle or something. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. This is uh, uh, wild. So they couldn't see what was going on. It's all in ruins. So spooky. So we're breaking the rules. We're in cell block two. It said that it was reserved for like groups, <laughs> but I mean, we don't have a group. So I'm just gonna play the dumb private thing. Oh my gosh, what's in here? Everywhere else in this place has been crowded, so we're just breaking the rules, it's fine. It's really spooky when there's not a crowd of people walking beside you. What, what's that thing? Yeah, wow. 
Okay, here we go. So here's what we go. This is where we're at right there, in the center. Now, it's like your main guard tower there, and it overlooks everything. You want a lot of visibility in all these different areas there is like what we just went through. This shows you like literally like how much room they have, even maybe if they went outside. Right. Like they have like nothing. So there's where all the cell yeah. cells there. That's nuts. All right, I guess we pick one. It's kind of like a maze. Sure. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Okay. Oh, box out. Yeah, this So not creepy at all, no? Make a peek. There's something in there. I feel like if ghosts exist, they're definitely in a place like this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find one. I think their spirits are probably here. Got some evil stuff lurking around here. We will find one of these evil guys and I'll hit him in the throat. This place housed some of like the, the most low, mm -hmm. low life criminals. Maybe she was 19, 19 years, years old, old, in here for murder. And she only had to do 24 years. But guys, this is like a, I was like six foot long here, and then maybe maybe six and a half feet, and then from here to like there is probably in the ballpark of like 15, 16 feet. So not a very big living area at all. Just lots and lots of just this place is definitely not weatherproof. I would not want to be here. No, it's just like exploring like an old castle. Right, like so basically what this place is, just so an old fortress. All right, the cell box wall is closed off. No skylights, which is all dark. Yeah. So this is really where you don't want to be. Yeah. Can you peek? Yeah. Oh, Nothing, just an eerie blackness. You can just shine it. Just nothing. No. <laughs> so right up there is that center tower that overlooks everything in the center of this whole complex of just mazes here. But, wow. Yeah, it's like your main overlook for the compound. Yeah, it's with three ways. Okay. Which one's, which one's the most haunted one? Let's go down this one. Let's All see. right. Is the boogeyman in there? No. Sucks. I saw him. Yeah. Yeah, he's freaky looking. Yeah, but the boogeyman, he, he don't want none of this. <laughs> I'm gonna throat punch him. Ooh. What is this? Yeah, that's why this place is like falling apart. See, the water just comes in. Yeah, it comes in from, the, from up there. Yeah. Yeah, so they're not really trying to like keep it. No. Well, they're not trying to like um, preserve it, modernize it, or restate it back to like you know a certain particular rear. They're just trying to it keep it alive, and that is uh, unfortunate. So in a hundred years, this place may not even exist. You know, the state of decay. Look at the walls in the wall. Yeah, it's shambling apart. Well. Look, this one had two because there's bunk beds. Two inmates at a time. It's crazy though. This is like literally history mm -hmm. that's decaying. And they're not. You know, it's kind of like. Whoa, this one's yeah. completely now. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, it, you know, like an endangered species, if you will. I mean, it's limited, yeah. has a shelf life, yeah. if you will. Place has been falling apart, just bad weather. Yeah, this one too. That one's down too? Yeah, this one's got overgrown. 
Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, look at this. What? The wall's starting to break apart over there too. Yeah. So just pretty crazy to think about that if you were an inmate in one of these places, I mean, that was it. I mean, you were in a room and you were sucking life, but you know, that's the whole idea of a penitentiary is to make you think about what you've done. But, that's your light. I don't have my phone. Oh yeah. But, spooky. Bad. Uh, these were actually called the red eye, uh, is what the inmates called them. And before, these doors did not exist. This would have been like just a wall. And so the inmates were shuttled in through right here. This would have been a tiny door. So you can kind of see right there. And then over here would have just been like a little slot where he would have been able to feed you some food. But right there, so pretend, pretend like this didn't exist. So it's just a wall and a hole. So this, we're on the outside now. This is where those doors would have actually been. This has actually been modified since uh, the, the pre, you know, the existence of this place. But uh, yeah, it's pretty wild to see. Interesting fact too, as we walk around here. So all of the concrete within the each, that divides each cell block was uh, really, really thick. And so the whole idea was that isolation was supposed to be the key thing so that you can kind of be just um and what you had done what got you here so that you could uh you know be a better person right when you got out and uh if you were caught breaking the rules being loud or anything like that i mean it was it was bad so the guards would actually walk around on little socks throughout the place inside just so that everything would be silent So, cell block 12, we were here earlier. Yeah. There was a riot. And this is one that's reportedly, supposedly like the most haunted. Wow, like why hear, can't we go? Yeah, they hear like voices and laughter and all kinds of crazy stuff. And why can't we go? But unfortunately, we can't go mess with the ghosts. We're gonna have to come back and do a night tour. Yes, we are. Let's see if I can hear anything. Yeah, that looks like a fun time. Here we go. Oh, he lived nice. There's two beds in there. Got the rug. Yeah. Okay, so this is the visitation room. Yes. Fun fact too, a bunch of these movies like Transformers and all that were actually filmed. Some of the location of the movies were actually filmed here. Cartoon Monkeys, yeah, that's one of them. But this is pretty crazy. This is what visitation room looked like. Wild. But all right, the place is closed and they're trying to kick us out of, out of here. No. So, see you guys later.